once I figured out it was not seeing someone's true colours, I must be colourblind because I couldn't see who someone actually was. That's when the worst of the chorus came pretty, pretty easily. <laughs> Hi, my name is Reese Crawford and I'm going to show you how I made my song Colourblind. So the first thing we have is this piano. Now you hear that, um, the, the sustained bit at the end. This was actually all a mistake. So I'll show you, I'll show you. So initially I played it like this. But when I recorded it, something went wrong, like Logic just didn't record the, uh, the sustain pedal that I'm pressing with my foot right now. So it started playing like this. which I thought sounded awesome, but then at the end, the pedal just kicked in again, and then it was like... And that just sounded so cool to me. So that's actually what I went with. I always tend to start with the chorus, so... I kind of know what the verses should be about. So once I got that, I then needed a bass note, which I think is just relatively simple it's just one note da uh, one octave down and it's sorry two octaves down pretty simple but together it sounds so much better than just like this on its own Like you can tell there's something there and it sounds good, but with this... Next we have... A bass guitar. Well, we've got, well, we have two bass guitars. We started off with just this bass, following the uh, piano bass note that we just played. And that sounded okay, but it was a bit boring, so I added a second guitar, a different guitar, playing the same note, um, an octave up, and just after. And that's what gave it a real swing. Then you add some drums onto it. Vocally, this is a pretty, pretty simple track in terms of it's just a lot of leads. There isn't, I don't think there's any harmonization or doubles anywhere. It's just my main vocal. I must be color blind, color blind, or I've lost my mind. Now that I had the chorus, I wanted to work on a bit of like an intro. So I just used the same piano as earlier, but with with the sustain pedal going on all the way through. Some cool things here. I did a. Uh, a slap delay pretty heavily on the first vocal. I've been having a day and... Just sounded interesting to me. Um, and I knew I was going to do a slap delay further on in the, in the track, so why not implement it earlier as well? And it's different, it's a different way to start, the, start a song. I might grab people's attention and keep them around, but then it immediately goes into this lower voice. In the worst type of way, yeah. just go your call. 
Okay. I didn't want to add too much, I guess, because I was kind of trying to just add visually to what the chorus was. And then it was just like, all right, now I've got that. Let's, let's try and tell a, a little bit of a story. I just figured out what the chorus was. I had the melody and in the melody mumbles, you can hear me say colorblind. That was the only audible word in the melody, like, um, uh, mumble that I did. So I was trying to figure out why would I, why would colorblind be a thing? And then once I figured out, it was like trying to see, like not seeing someone's true colors. And like, I must be colorblind because I couldn't see who someone actually was. That's when the words to the chorus came pretty, pretty easily. And I am too What a delay coming up But we can't keep doing this after all that we've been through Just a delay with reverb I think <laughs> High past it, sorry um, Cut the high frequencies out so it just sort of is in the background It's the same I hate that you still love me Love that bit But what I hate more than that is I also feel the same Then this bit Reverbed. Just an automated reverb, that's all. And it goes into the next part, which kind of like breaks down. There's like a disgustingly loud 808. I automated the pitch there, so it goes. Just thought it was interesting. I just wanted it to breathe. I wanted it to be like um, just a big space. And we've got this big. Uh, Reverbed out rim shot. Some orchestra stuff that I played. Yeah, and then the vocals, just quite reverbed out on this bit. Yeah, uh, this was the fun bit. This is when it started picking up energy again. So at this point, I felt like. I'd taken you on a, a bit of a journey and it was a bit sad, you know, but the chorus wasn't that. The chorus is a bit funky, it's like high energy, so I wanted something to like almost pick me back up from this sadness, I guess. So that's where the first line came from, like, I'm back from the dead. I didn't I didn't have the words yet, I just had the I just had the instruments that I played. It's following um the principles of the chorus, it's just different progression to try and lift you up. That's what I was going for. kick just following the bass and then later on I add the same drums that are in the chorus again vocally just my main vocal oh no I did do something cool here I added this just for the background mm. Just a vocal, uh, not perfect, but I haven't pitched it to crazy, um, but just reverb now, just to feel, because it just adds something, like without it. See how boring that is? Back again. And at this point, I was just experimenting with my voice. Like, I've never done... I don't have to pretend! I've never done anything like that before. And to be fair, vocally, I had never done anything like this before. I was trying to be more powerful with my voice. The closest to that, 
to uh, me performing vocally like this is probably the same old story. But this is my favourite part, I went so high here. It's kind of like you feel it vibrating through your nose. Oh, everything was. But oh, everything was. What's next? Lie, 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 lie. This is the same as the chorus, all the same drums. I just had, instead of a piano, I just used a. Oh, I might have used a different bass. Yeah, I did. the guitar so I said a doom doom is it doom 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 just a different rhythm forgot I did that and then kick to follow it I wasn't sure whether to add that in that's what this follows that everything was just Oh, I, I, maybe I shouldn't have put that in. Yeah, I, I, that sounds kind of cool without it. I mean, I can't change it now. So the thing with this segment is... Is that... Oh, that kind of sounds like a chorus, but I knew that that wasn't my chorus. So like the whole arrangement of this song is just weird. Like they got this intro, then this breakdown part, and then this bit that leads up, like builds up so much energy, and then it kind of releases, which typically would is what you do in a chorus. But I knew that wasn't my chorus. I knew my chorus was a little bit further on. So it's it's a weird song because the chorus doesn't hit until two minutes. I mean, I like it. I love it as it is. It's just very different from what you normally do. So like, I knew I needed to bring the energy back down again, so then I can go back into the chorus. So I just brought the intro pianos into this next part and sort of just softened my voice a little bit. Oh, and we got a little... To lead into the next part, uh, just automated reverb, similar to earlier. Sounds quite cool. Quite cool. Yeah, so then it drops down. You know the problem with you. You're always in my head. Look, I love the way I performed this. Like I didn't didn't really use much vibrato before this song, but this is kind of You know the problem with you. You're always in my head. With everything I do. It just sounds so good to me. This was a real I, I'm really, I'm really proud of this song. With every single breath. For whatever reason, that is an easy thing to sing, but I, sh I could not hit those notes for some reason. It, it took so many, so many takes to get it to sound how I wanted, and then so I, en I ended up splitting two takes and putting them together because like the first bit sounded how I wanted it, but the second bit didn't have. Like the, the the tone I wanted, it was, it just didn't have the tone, but this bit did, but the start of it didn't, it's like, oh yeah, real fast. You know the problem with me, I believe the things you say, I'm gonna be so naive, I must be colorblind. Then it's chorus, and we just let that vibe out, basically. And then I had this cool idea to just like, then just do like this piano bit. I wanted to just take it on a journey again. I felt like we'd we'd got to a cool place, but I wanted to bring it on a journey now. So yeah, I played this part. Then it goes into... When I had that bit, I was so happy because it just sounds so hopeful. And then, like when I was trying to freestyle melodies to it, I just came up with. A friend. 
Show me something. And as soon as I did that, I knew instantly that's I knew that's where the, the, the big slap delay was gonna go. Oh we got ahead of ourselves here. Let's go back to here. This was soft, just a soft vocal. Just kind of telling a story. For we had something. You turned your back on me. I watched you run away. And I was unbelieving. Oh. Now that's a I kind of got some confidence from earlier on in the song with the vibrato and then I pulled when I pulled this off. I was unbelieving. Oh. I was like, ooh! Is that Reese or is that Charlie Poof? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I was pleased. Did that mean nothing? And now you're far away, yet I'm still suffering. Show me something. Lifts up. Show me something. Just a mess. Just a little delay there. Oh, hold on. Just to add something, fill the space a little bit. Just a message, a little effort, or a sorry. Drums come in after that big. Oh, sorry. Without this, this, this is an okay. This is a good pattern, but when you add that tom, just that. Da -da -dum. I'm in love with it. I really, you can tell I'm so like passionate about this. Then I did a kind of kind of similar to the first one. I'm only realizing this now. I was just creating enough where it sounded cool but it's kind of similar to the first sort of floaty breakdown part uh, before the build up. Piano, a couple different basses. Probably should have added a high note on the last one there. Oh well. And the bass. And then that goes into an 808. Hold on. This 808. It's not too loud because there's like, it's quite distorted so it has a lot of presence uh like it already sounds like the back of a car shaking when you have the bass up too loud not too loud but up loud um so when it was up really loud it was kind of just a bit distracting but i sort of tucked it in a little bit so like you can hear it it's there it's present but it doesn't take away from anything else Ah, oh, there is harmonies. Very simple ones, just low and falsetto. That's it. And I kind of use them as delays. Yeah, and then it just goes back into the chorus. But... Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I had this cool guitar idea that I... That I... Uh, I just did with my... Uh, like, on the mic. I didn't know I was going to do that, I just pulled up the mic and was like, let's come up with some ideas, so, you know, like, it's not perfect, but I really like the way it sounded, and I was trying to get a guitar that, like, could match that. I spent hours trying to find a guitar that would, um, that sounded like that, that fit in so well tonally to the rest of the chorus but it took ages i ended up going with a, a layer in a bunch of different ones and then in the context of the song
and that's it. That's how I made Colorblind.